everyone, it's Lorraine. You'll have to excuse my look. Um, I got some sealy ish going on up under here, and that's why I have on the scarf. <laughs> I just kind of like twirled or like twist, not necessarily did two strand twist, but just took and just kind of like ringlets just to see how it would turn out. I washed it, and it just looks real sealy ish right now. So hence the scarf but I got a package today and I wanted to keep up the momentum that I have currently with recording so I didn't want to have to wait until like either tonight once it's dried or actually probably tomorrow once I actually take and kind of separate the ringlets or whatever so this is what you get so but I ordered some stuff from Bundle Monster I have been eyeing some stuff on their site um so um, I wanted to check them out and actually came very, very quickly. Priority three day mail. Um, and I didn't realize they came from Hawaii, but yeah, and it comes in a padded priority mail, um, packing slip and I ordered, which I already have a matte thing. This is the Bundle Monster Lotus Matte. It's their version of like the Uber Chic Matte. And I wanted to get a second one just because um, I think uh, one for home and then one potentially for use in the salon that I'll be working in. So I wanted to, you know, just have my own stuff in case I need to. And it comes in this packaging here. And let's see. And um, it actually feels thicker than the other one. Kind of, oh, it's cold. Um, I literally just got it out of the mailbox. And this is what the mat looks like. And this actually has like the ruler down here. Um, which, unlike, I don't think it, there's like a ruler thing on the other one. But so it has like rounded nails and then square nails on this side. I honestly feel like they could have done like two sets. Like say if you're doing like a full set of for two hands. So that way you could do them all at the same time versus doing one and then having to do the other. Like I mean like they could have put two sets of the square nails and, do, and then two sets of the round ones. There's definitely enough space for that. So I feel like I did see one... Um, I think either once only thing about it being folded there's like a slight crease here in the middle but not like it's gonna matter but it's pretty you know well made and pretty thick and whatever so but I did see one I think either Queen or Winstonia I think it's Queen has a mat I can't remember which one because I've been like on everybody's site it seems like these past um few weeks just because I've been off so I've been like really bored and what do you do when you're bored? You go shopping. So, um, theirs actually has multiple, like I want to say two rows for each, or either there's like a third row of a set of nails so that you could potentially do um, nail appliques or nail stickers or whatever decals, make them for two hand, whole hands of, I think, the same shape. Okay, so the other item that I picked up was the, um, from Bundle Monster was their, um, liquid peel text, uh, tape, the, and this is called Poly Peel, um, cuticle protector, the outer cap came off, um, it was like the liquid latex type of stuff, and I did see that the No More Mess or Mess No More version, why does this have, it's weird, it has shimmer in it. That's really odd. I wasn't expecting that. But there's one that's now available at Ulta. And I think it looks more like the Liquid Palisades type of stuff. And that type of container where it's like the like the doe foot type of applicator. Ew. Oh my god, that's really, that stinks. But I think it smells, it's got like a slight ammonia type scent. It kind of smells like the Liquid Latex. So, mmm. But you don't really smell it on the application, but I smell it like when, well, not that I'm going to be like huffing on the, the packaging, but, you know, huffing on it and smelling it all the time. But if you're one that is sensitive to smell, it might be kind of bothersome. I mean, you don't smell it on applying it on something. But, um, so they actually had a couple different deals available, um, as well. So when you bought, um... I guess if you bought 
there were two different deals that I saw that I took advantage of. One is you got this a free uh, Christmas plate for free when you spent, I think, over $30 or something like that. And um, at first, it didn't appear as though the stuff, like, you didn't have to put in, I don't think you, you didn't have to put in the code. It automatically took it off once you went to kind of, like, check out. Because initially, like, I was, like, concerned at first because... I, there was a discount code for 15% off everything site wide, which is what prompted me to just go ahead and place my order. Um, because, um, and they finally had the one thing that I wanted back in stock, so I just figured why not save while I get it um, when I get it. So, um, there was a regular 15% off coupon code, and then in addition to that, they had like some other promos that as long as you purchase X you got Y for free or something like that. So as long as you spent $30, you got this Christmas plate for free. And it has um, Santa... I don't know what that almost looks... I don't know what this other one is. Um, this kind of looks like a surfboard with a tree. Some lights with trees and stars. A small Christmas tree and some presents. So um, just a nice cute plate. Granted... Um, it is no longer Christmas, but you can do whatever designs you want at any point in the year. This one looks almost like a totem pole or something with a hat, a Santa hat on it, but you know, still cute. And again, like the one with the bow, that one can be used at any time. And it's actually a really nice kind of detailed bow, um, not just a plain bow, so like wrapping. So <laughs> that's really nice. So that was free. It was like originally $1.99. And then the main reason I placed my order was to get the um, Bundle Monster um, four-piece stencil set that they have. That's like the man Messy Mansion um, stencils. Um, but this one has, the Messy Mansion only came with two. And this one comes with four different sets of like plates with stencils. And these are actually much, much larger. So... You got this, I want to say it was like, I think, was it $15.99? But then I also had 15% off. And then as a promotion, when you purchase the four-piece stencil set, you also got these additional stencils. These are plastic, like, guides that give you a bunch of different shapes. Um, so I wanted to, and I was like, oh, well, why not? This gives you a bunch of different, like, opportunity, a way to be able to even, like, up your creativity in terms of what you can do. So I do like that each of their items come like really nicely individually wrapped and um, like reusable packaging. Um, it's like if you don't have something specifically to carry them in, you could at least keep them in their bag or whatever, and it's like a Ziploc bag. Um, so, and each one is in their own separate plastic bag within the big bag. So this one has like a large like kind of French tip guide type thing and then also like the hamsa hand looks like flowers some little animal cutouts circles stars hearts um i can't and like a like like the goldfish cracker uh butterfly i don't know if that's a dog or a pig that's a cat a, i don't know bunny rabbit some stars again like a teddy bear stuff like that um, this one, I mean, the heart and the circles probably, I, I probably won't give a whole lot of use out of that one. Although the hamsa hand might be nice. But even, even still, just trying something out just to see what you can do differently. And then this one was actually another a nice one where you got like, um, what you get here is like a chevron, triangles, a type of kind of cross, arrows, one slightly larger than the other one, one, this one Here's just a point of an arrow, some different shapes, the X, lightning bolts, different versions, and then these, um, like, larger piece. this one's a thinner version of this, like the, you know, L kind of shape or whatever. So, um, that one. And then the next one, this one has, you know, a deep V, a thicker one. This is a small one. This is a nice squiggly line kind of like a you know half circle type moon shape set of thicker lines here then a set of like kind of chevron type points a larger cross looks like a connecting dots here and then a kind of water wave pattern two different triangles and then three sets of lines you get a thicker one with two 
Actually, you get three different sizes here. So you get a thin one, a medium, and then a larger one. So I really like that they actually kind of thought about it in terms of, you know, having multiple sizes of the different things so that you can easily use them to fit the different, you know, nails, shapes, and sizes. And then this one is very much like the... Um, one of the messy mansion ones in terms of um, help minimizing cleanup in terms of basically you have different finger sizes so you could find the one that fits best fits your nail size or I guess it would more go like this best fits your nail size so that you could get it exactly the right size so that you don't have a lot of excess on your nails and I like that they got like really really big because most things that you see like it's like standard like everyone has like the same width and length of nail or at least especially width um, but that's not the case here like they give you a really big one and this one is like like big toe size big and then you have your French tip designs to wear a really really deep curve and then a less of a curve and then even in terms of for those who have longer nails which is what I really like they actually really thought I think feel like they really really thought put a lot of thought into this in terms of how they created this and that they didn't just stick with the norm of what most people how most people do it and just um you know, a standard size that where one size would fit all. And I'm just trying to see if... Okay, so this stuff peels off a lot easier. I'm, you didn't see that, sorry. And it's like more like the liquid latex. And like the uh, Born Pretty Store one. And then the last item, which was free when you purchased the... Um, Stamping the four piece guide set are these um, plastic stamping guides, which basically, unfortunately, you would have to take a little bit of time initially to punch, to carefully punch out all of these. Uh, let's see, punch out the, um, I don't know how well you can see those. Let's put them here. So, this is a sheet with alphabets. So you would punch out the letters and then you could make letters and not, this has letters and the alphabet, all the, the entire alphabet on here. And basically you could use, you know, do lettering and stuff like that. So there's one, I don't know, I think there's six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six different ones. This one is also a, um, a nail like the finger guide so in case you need different options this is also helpful in case you like I really think like these type of fingernail ones so like if you wanted to do one where like you have they have the designs where you have like the black edge to kind of like framed you have your polished color and then it looks like it's framed in black I think that you can do that with painting your whole nail one color and then choosing a smaller fingertip guide so that it looks and you place your stamping in there so it's just to the middle it looks like it's like framed I really like that look and it's something I definitely plan on trying um, sorry I have to watch my time I swear I think every time my husband gets home he jacks up the heat because it is Oh my god, how is it in here? Oh my god. So this one is a combination of shapes. We have different types of triangles, regular, tri equal, what is those, with the equal sided triangles. I can't remember, but then you have like the kind of taller, taller, or is it isosceles, different triangles. One is kind of like a right angle triangle, um, different shaped hearts. Some are kind of skewed, some are actually kind of octagon shaped hearts and then you have your perfect heart you have your stars different sizes and sorry and then you have kind of like the diamond rhombus shapes and then you have your squares and your rectangles so a good way to do like a bunch of like really get creative with it this next one is kind of similar to the um the one of the metal stamping guides 
to is very similar in terms of that this is the same, this is the same. Um, it has one squiggly line on the other one. This way you get multiple. It has these. So you get some different options. And also I think this is helpful. These are all the same. This is a little bit different than what was on there. But for the most part, this is kind of a repeat of the metal one. But the good thing about that is if, you know, say you're sharing or, oh, there's puzzle pieces. If you're using, and a teardrop, if you're using this, um, like if I'm in the salon and I'm using the metal one, someone can still do the same type of look with the plastic ones. Um, and I'm not worried about anybody damaging my stuff. So this one is actually pretty cute. This one has like spades, hearts, um, arrow tips, um, crosses. There was something I just saw in there. Oh, like the comet, the chat bubbles, and kind of like these aztec -y cut type crosses here. So a bunch of different options here, and there is one more on here that, um, God, and then this is the last thing that I purchased. This is the last item. So this, um, kind of makes me think more of like, um, St. Patrick's Day a little bit because it has like a top hat, the clovers, X's and more flowers and three leaf clovers and um, just some other shapes, ribbons or bows here or whatever, circles. And I don't know if you can see that this little piece is kind of already punched out. So again, you just would remove that little piece that's punched out and you probably just want to be careful and how you remove it just so you don't rip it and you get clean lines but um yeah so that's pretty easy to punch out but again will be kind of time consuming once you get in it has the mustaches three different types so um yeah so that's everything that i got and i want to say i think i only spent like 30 something bucks um this doesn't put my price on here or have any prices um, on here and it just has the item number and not the actual like textual description of each item so um, even still to get one two three four five six um, plastic nail stamping guides plus four metal stamping guides um, plus the mat and the stamping guides in the mat were the two most expensive items. I want to say this was like $13.99 and the stamping set I think was $15.99. And then um, the one plate that was free and then the liquid latex stuff, um, poly peel as what they call it. Um, so yeah. So I think that was a really good deal. And then having 15% off and then getting the two sets for free. The one Christmas plate and then the six um, stamping guides, plastic stamping guides were also free. Um, I think it was a really good deal because I want to say the plastic ones were $6.99 and the um, stamping plate was $1.99. So I ended up getting like a total of like $14 and some change deducted from my total price. So I want to say I spent like maybe, I don't know if it was 30 something because like I said, I've placed quite a few orders these last couple of weeks. Um, I have um, an order from Queen. They have um, their intense color polishes and their metallic polishes. Um, sorry, I keep looking down, but they have the five free polishes which I didn't even realize that they had polish but they're super intense pigmented polishes that they stay are great for stamping so I wanted to try those out because again the salon that I'll be working in is a natural um, nail natural um, salon that will only be using five free polishes so I figure um, in terms of Conat and some of the other ones I don't know if they're five free or not so um I, and then plus I wanted to try them because they had some Queen has some they have some really good colors that if they work great over dark colors I'm, ex I'm gonna be extremely pleased like they have three different like sets they're intense 
super intense and then rocking metallics i got some rocking metallics and the some from the super intense collection but the intense color one i think they only had two a black and a white so i got an assortment of colors to to try out um so um that so i have a clean order and two more zoya orders because um they have that zoya has that new collection coming out um, their Whispers collection or something like that. And then um, I had a coupon promo coupon for if you spent $50, you got 50% off plus free shipping. So I wanted to take advantage of that. And I had two codes left to use by December 31st. And I didn't want them to kind of go to waste and considering... Um, on top of my so license, you know, for being a licensed nail tech, you get 50% um, off of um, their products and stuff at Zoya. So it, it was a deal I couldn't pass up. So I just figured why not get stock up on some of their colors um, and some that I didn't even have never paid attention to because with them I've just been kind of really paying attention more attention to like um newly released collections and haven't really spent any amount of time going through and looking at um other like older colors that they've had um so I ended up doing that because I was looking at something and they make suggestions and I was like oh these are nice these are nice and so I kind of put them on my wish list and I just started like looking through like all their colors and I was like oh I'm gonna have to check these out so with that being said um I should have depending upon when they oh and then I do also have another order from the painted nail also um the steam off gel remover um things they had a, a double deal um on those so I did get those get to get that um because with working at the a nail salon, um, I imagine like I get nail polish on my nails. I don't want to mess up my manicure, especially if I've just recently done it. So I've been thinking that I'll probably put like a gel coat over top of my design. And then um, that way I can easily steam it off without like having to go through all the horror, you know, the, the removal process like it is with the foil and all that. So and then I'll have my julep box. So depending upon how they come in, I will try to do like a combined haul or I don't know. I think with the Zoya ones, I'll have to do them separately just because there's so many individual items, so many colors that I got um, that it would just take a whole, a really long time um, to show everything. So it'll just kind of be dependent upon how they come in the mail. So Painted Nail, Zoya, Queen, and Julep will be coming up next. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. Leave your questions and comments down below and have a great day. Bye.